Okay. I think Pastor was saying that um, when he was talking about obstacles and complications, mm. he mentioned lack of truthfulness. He mentioned core conflict. So another thing, there is another conflict that um, we should endeavor to well keep ourselves from conflict, but that we should remove negative emotions. That we can actually have a conflict without um, worrying. You know, so we should just move every emotion out of it. That the mature way of handling conflict is by removing the emotional entanglement and just sitting down and ironing issues out. So I asked my question to him yesterday was I was wondering how it was possible for me to have a conflict without having any emotion because I'm really feeling bad about whatever it is that caused that conflict. So he tries to explain um, it as like explain how I can the emotional aspect of it, but he said I should um, I just wanted to throw more light on it because he explained what he said he would do a better job of explaining it more to me. Okay. Okay. So, um, it's very, very true. Conflict resolution. You should be able to separate your relationship, your emotional connection with the issue that is being addressed. Let us, let's, 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 let's try and get, get an example. Let me see. Do, do, do you want to, do you, do you want to give me any example? Let's try, let's try and get an example that we can use now. Okay. Let's say, let's say, um, came back on work and on a Thursday evening and um, he had told you when he was maybe in the afternoon on his break, oh, I would like when I come back because um, I'm going to go for um, a night vigil. I would like when I come back for my food to be ready. I like, and I want it to be um, yam porridge. Hmm? And then you, maybe you, you didn't have any yam at home or you said, okay, I'll go out and buy yam. And then maybe around four or so, you went out and you didn't see yam. You said, oh, what am I going to do? Okay, you now decided to make potato and stew. And then, um, in fact, you hadn't even finished making it. You were still deciding on what you were going to do. And then he comes back. And then he's like, ah, where is the yam? Pro-? You say, ah, I, 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 well, I didn't see any yamo, so I, I'm just trying to prepare potato and stew now. Then he now he's very angry. He says, "Why are you always doing this? I told you this six hours ago, and you still couldn't do it." I'm getting very, very frustrated. This is how I told you this on yesterday, and you didn't listen, and you didn't do it, and blah, 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 blah. and then he decides. In fact, and let's say he's he's back maybe late. Maybe this night video was going to start around eight, and this is around seven. He's like, in fact, I need first of all, I need to leave for this night vigil now. And then he picks up his his stuff and he goes out. You know, and then you're like, oh God. In fact, well, why should he even be talking to me like this? Why, why is he telling me this? Doesn't okay, let's say you're pregnant. Eh? Doesn't know that I'm, I'm, I've been tired. In fact, today I've, I've been really, really, really fatigued and I'm worn out. And then um, in fact, you start feeling bad. You remember one other thing that happened two days ago. You remember another one that happened one, one month ago. You know, you're like in fact, I think he's just talking down on me. In fact, I think, I think he's been taking me for granted and things like that. And then he comes back the next day, next morning, you try to talk to him. He doesn't want to talk to you. Um, later in the afternoon, you try to resolve it. He's like, the problem I have is you're not listening. You're not doing, you're not doing what I asked you to do. I called you by 12. I told you this is what I want and you, you didn't do it. I told you I was going for a night vigil. I'm not happy about this and whatever. You can go away from that discussion, feeling unappreciated. Say everything I'm doing, I'm keeping the house clean. I'm trying my best. After all, it's not my fault. I couldn't find yam in the shop. I don't grow yam in my backyard. You can go away feeling very unappreciated. You can go away feeling hot and angry. And in fact, I'm getting really, really tired and I miss my parents. Or you can go away feeling I haven't done well though. He called me at 12 and asked me to do this thing. I should have made an effort. If I couldn't find jam, I could have sent him a message and said, I didn't find jam in the shop, bro. Will you mind potato? Or is there something else you think I can, you know, give him another option? I say, okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done this. Maybe I should have done this other one. I'll try it's for this not to repeat itself again. So if you separate the way you're feeling, you separate the emotions you have, you're not feeling appreciated, 
and being pregnant to even worsen the way you feel you feel a bit because i mean if, if, if you don't have a very healthy self-esteem being pregnant to make you lose a bit of your self-esteem because you feel unattractive you feel fat you feel um especially if, if you're not at work if you're not working you can feel a bit redundant so it, all those things would could contribute to how you feel and if you ruminate on these things ruminate on them ruminate on it and then added conflict it can cause even more problems it can cause distance between you and your husband and it can even cause bitterness but if you remove the way you're feeling from this conflict and see this i'm not meeting my husband's needs with him telling me what to do and trusting that i will do it i need to do better in this area i need to start listening better i need to start making more effort when he asks me to do something to do it on time the way he expects me to do it and if i can't do it i need to communicate i wasn't able to do this and this is why communicate for me communication is, is the key communication is the key communication is what is what solves problems and it is what removes conflict if you had called earlier and said oh i wasn't able to do this um would you consider this it would have removed this conflict you'd have come back knowing i'm not going to have young portage um because I was not unable to find, I'm going to be having potato or whatever it is, or rice or noodles. <laughs> so, um, for me, th that is the thing. So, it's, 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 big, it's being able to look at the big picture. It's being able to, to look at what am I doing wrong. I had to, I had to um, sort this out in my mind. It took me years. It took me years. It took me years to be able to sort out He's not talking down on me. He doesn't hate me. He, he just he doesn't just want to um, um, make me feel bad. He's correcting something. I'm not doing well in this area. I need to do better. So it, it, it took me a while to get to get there, and I'm still working on it. But it's very important because if 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 you don't separate it, then it's going to cause more troubles in the marriage. And what still, you won't be able to correct your mistake. You won't be able to address that issue because of how you feel. God bless you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and look at the other, other masterclasses on relationship that I have. And very soon I'm going to have a masterclass on um, success coming soon. So you make sure you hit me up, subscribe to my channel so you get a notification whenever a new class is uploaded. God bless you.